I'm serious. I think maybe our compatibility is just sexual attention. That we're mistaking, mistaking for love. For love. Because every week something must happen. Every week, every week, every week. But in a relationship, it's gone for you to have. No. If you watched my video last night, I had mentioned that Angel is not a lover of beautiful things. And some of you were wondering why. You have seen it now, Abi. You have heard it by yourself. I have a whole man outside. We don't fight every week. We like every two weeks. What do you guys see every day? Angel. No, excuse me. In fact, Angel fans, yesterday I spoke to Ilebaye's fans and I gave people seats to sit down. People were explaining. And I tell on myself, I'm going to explain to you. It's time for Angel's fans to explain. What's going on with your faith? What's truly happening? What's happening? <laughs> if you misbehave, you collect. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. If you're seeing me for the very first time, you're welcome. My name is Philomena Moses Lawson. Thank you so much for clicking. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You can do it now. If you're a regular viewer, you know I love you so much with all of my heart. Thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. And without further ado, let's dive right into the video. Angel could care less. When I said where is someone, she said, how am I supposed to know where he is? Hey, where? And she was upstairs playing snooker. So, I don't understand. Why are you concerned about whether he has it or not? He's not feeling well. He hasn't been oh. feeling well all day. So, we saw in a conversation where Alex was talking to Prince and Ilebaye about Soma. She was like, she went to meet Angel to ask Angel about Soma. Angel was upstairs playing snooker. And she was like, why should I care? Like, why are you asking me of Soma? Now, just yesterday, when I do like, so on a day, it's a serious relationship. Like, saying I'm marriage and I don't marry. I don't understand what's in the happen. But she was like, she doesn't care. Why is Angel asking her? Apparently, both of them are having issues, so she's not talking to Soma. But... Alex is of the opinion that this is not a time to be quarreling with Soma because Soma is not feeling well. He has been having pains in his back and he has not been able to function. Soma has been the one cooking for them. I remember in his diary session, he was telling people that the people that he picked and brought upstairs as his BFF, he feels like it's his responsibility to take care of them. So he has been cooking for them, including Angel, of course. I'm sure even if he's not cooking for the rest of his BFFs, he's definitely cooking for Angel. We know why, you know. So today now that the boy is not feeling fine, he needs to eat and probably just be taken care of. But it turns out that him and Angel, the in love, the one and only person that's supposed to look after him, cares less. So Alex decided to make breakfast for him, take care of him. You know, Elaba was not even offering. I have bread, or you can give him bread. She was like, she wants him to eat good food. I'm like, oh, even Prince start to call Alex. Yoga don't chop. I thought you said you were going to cook for yoga. Your guys, so don't be your guy again. Now, husband, be your guy. You guys should be guided. Every day, most times, like if you're driving from, like six if times, if you're driving from work, he'll stop by my house. Hi, babe. Now again, we don't see say Angel don't carry labor. You don't go talk about Soma. Say she feels like she and Soma they are not compatible. How are you now saying that people are not compatible after confessing and professing love to him like two nights ago? You literally told him you loved him. Like you used the L word when nobody forced you. The true angel in you said, oh, Baba, I love you. I appreciate you. I'm glad you are here with me. I thank you for everything. Why is it today now you are now realizing that you are not compatible? You feel like it's just sexual tension. You feel like, like maybe if people have sex and everything will just be over. That the way people are fighting, that's not how it is. And it is now you are also revealing that you have a whole man, in our words, whole. You have a whole man outside the house. You people see every day. He comes back from work and he drops by and just gives you a peck and says, Oh, I just wanted to drop by and say hi. It means a get active relationship outside this house. And then you are stringing Soma along. And she just was making reference to that her man outside the house because she's like, they don't even fight this much. She knows that she's a difficult person and all what's not. But then even if he's fight with a, a whole man outside the house, they fight at least once in two weeks or so. But this one, she and Soma every day. Little by now, I started asking her, do you people see every day? Do you live in the same house? Because it might be that it's because you and Soma are in this house together. That's why people are fighting so much. She's like, they see every day. They see every day but they don't fight this much that she doesn't understand why she and somebody are fighting this much so she has concluded that they are not compatible this brings me back to my point from the beginning of the video and the yesterday video where i said 
Angel is not a lover of good things. You guys, just for reference, it is Chichi that said this thing during her season level up where she, people were talking about she and Deji's relationship not being real. And then she started calling people haters of beautiful things. People are not lovers of beautiful things. So that's why I'm using that just for context sake. Anyways, so Angel herself, now she by herself, now they do herself. Oh yeah. Our faves, I know some are going to do conversation. Mona start to explain. You don't, you know that Bonner Boy video? You guys, explain, 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 go tired. No evidence. No evidence. Let me know what you guys think about this ship. Do you think that this ship is sailing anywhere? Obviously, she has a man outside the house. So, man's just going to come out and feel heartbroken. But, so, man also was talking about, I mentioned it last night as well, that so, man talked about him having a girlfriend outside the house. So, is this, this ship they're having, is it only inside the house? I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think about it, okay? Give love, give life. Not to be you is a human being. Let's also talk about small bass bows here and there. You know, we saw when Messi was warning everybody in the house that maybe this always Soma they do. I receive love, I give love. I really must commend Soma this week. His positivity spread across the house. There was this week had the least fights. In fact, we thought that first week, usually when you come into the big brother's house, there will be little or no fights, but they shock us this season. First week, people don't fight. But this week, Soma had positivity. We had the happiness coach that came in as well. And Soma has his personal confession that I've been waiting and they call this his affirmation that he used to make all the housemates say. He would sit them down and he got them and say, I give love, I receive love. I give success, I receive success. Even when Ibuka came on Sunday, he was just first told them, I give love, I receive love. They were so happy and excited. So that was good to see. But today, mercy don't change for everybody. You. She said, maybe others also they die. I give love. I receive anybody way behave any how you go collect what to what to what to maybe others peace that if you behave any how you go you go you go <laughs> she's actually a very sweetheart like Daryl likes first and toilet actually trying to dress up and then she came in and then we're being locked inside there and she actually helped me to zip up my waist trainer. Little conversations going on left, right, center, all over the house. You know, we heard where Sissy was having a conversation with E.K. And just talking about how Tolani Badge is a nice person. She has also mentioned in a diary session where she and Sissy were locked in the toilet together. And even though they were not talking, they were not in good terms, she still offered to help um, Sissy zip her dress. And Sissy made reference to that in this conversation as well. But Sissy went ahead to talk about the fact that it is Neo that is making this girl feel like she's mad or stupid because... Neo claims that they are just friends, something is happening, but they shower together, they do everything together, and then you'll be making one person feel special, yet you're going around the house telling different people different things. And since he said for her, he keeps saying, oh, you're so cute, you're so this, you're so that. You can't be doing that when you have a special someone. So that maybe people just misunderstood her. She just has this America, America thing going on with her, but besides that, Tolani Badge is a nice girl. Oh! Oh! <laughs> At least somebody don't say something good about the girl. And I go still come tell on her. The fact say me and I will get small problem. Not me say if somebody talks something good about her, no talk about her. I go talk. But yes, guys, there is a conversation brewing between Venita, Kimopra. Thinking about to destroy somebody's another time. Like, this is so no, I will not destroy anybody's this Kimopra, she just they silently and quietly they enter different people. I don't know how she does it gracefully, but we know that she and Elebaye they have something that is there's a tension there, but she's not just turning it into a fight. Then she and Venita now there's a tension as well, all because of hot water and bucket, but it has still not turned into a fight. We also have the one that happened with Lucy and this same Kimopra that made Lucy want, want to leave the house voluntarily. But the team did not really turn to fight. Kimopra, what are you doing? What did you put in your stew? Kimopra, what did you put in your stew? Kimopra, what did you put in your stew? I love it. I love it. I love me some drama. But let it come out to full-blown drama so that we know what we are doing all over the place. Are you looking forward to the Head of House games? Guys, let's predict now. Who do you think is winning the Head of House? A lot of people are saying, she he might. Because the guy in Ali Kolakpo. And this week, he might not escape it like with votes. So people are thinking that if he's going to stay one extra week in the house he might likely win the head of house game so let me know what your thoughts are i wish that somebody like maybe venita would win it because she has come close every single week it would be nice to just see her win so yeah let's talk in the comments if you've come this far you're the real mvp and until next time i'm gonna see you on the next one bye bye